Uh, when we're checking head to see if it is of any value or how much work it actually needs, we want to check the valve seat concentricity. So again, we'd take a valve guide mandrel and insert it into the valve guide, snug it up so that it has no side wiggle. Then we take our valve seat concentricity gauge. So this gauge slides over our mandrel and then we can loosen this stylus and put it on the valve seat. So if we put that onto our valve seat there and snug it up, and now we make sure that we have some movement, and I don't, so I have to go down a bit further so we have movement on the needle. Once you get it set up, you can do all the valve seats quite quickly, and it's the 30 or 45 degree angle face that you want to be having that on. Okay, so we've got that, so we're within its working range. We're gonna set that to zero roughly, and now we just rotate it and this little ball rides around the seat and we can see how much run out we have. And I'm quite surprised that we have, looks like about one thousandth of an inch run out, which is pretty good. Uh, normally when an engine has come out of service, after a number of hours, you'd have three to four thousandths of an inch run out and they would need work. But this one isn't too bad.